We'll start with Morgan Lawton, and she will be spoken for by Coach Sam McLeod. Well, this thing is way down there, isn't it? Now somebody, uh, somebody lied to me tonight and told me we were supposed to prepare five-minute speeches, and I've got one page, so I guess I might have to improvise a little bit. Before I get started talking about Morgan, I just want to talk about what a great honor this whole environment is. I got involved with Dude Dent for the first time, the Dude Dent Awards for the first time last year. And just hearing the backstories from Mr. Neaton and really understanding what we are representing here and the, the character that our, that our kids and our athletes are bringing to this award, it just it makes me really proud. And as I sit here, I want to echo something that everybody else that's got up here has really said. All six of these young people, all six of these students, these athletes, these role models, they are the best of us. They represent our community. They represent you as their parents. They represent our school in a way that we can all be proud of. And no matter which athletes win here tonight, I don't believe in everybody gets a trophy. When we come down to the Dude Den Awards and the Female Athlete of the Year Awards, everyone here is a winner. They are truly the best of what our community has, and they represent what I believe our community stands for. But when Morgan Lawton asked me to speak for her tonight, I have to tell you that, you know, don't, don't tell my wife this, but that was probably one of the greatest honors of my life. We'll tell her it was second to the day we got married. But I truly think this is one of the greatest things I've ever had the pleasure of doing. And to give you a little example of why, and I want to talk a little bit more about personal, personal stories here tonight. And we all know, I will go into a little bit of it, we all know the things that Morgan has accomplished in terms of her academic achievements, her athletic achievements. But what's impressed me most about Morgan is, is relationships. And what impresses me the most about that is the relationship, this, this will get a little emotional, the relationship that, that she has with my son. And I want to tell you a little story. Uh, my son is very, very close with Morgan Lawton. I don't know if she knows how close. He has plans that she probably doesn't know of yet. He's, he's five years old, by the way. It was about two months ago, I walked into my son's room. My son loves to make forts. He, uh, he gets all the blankets and all the pillows, and he was making the most elaborate fort of all time. This thing had separate rooms, it had a living room, it had everything you could possibly want in a house. And I asked him what he was doing. And he said, with complete seriousness, Daddy, I'm making a house so that Morgan can live here with me. <laughs> My five-year-old son was making a house for Morgan, and he named it Fort Morgan. <laughs> You know, they say that character is measured, and I'm going to talk a lot about character here for Morgan today. They say character is measured by, you know, how, how dogs and young children react to you. And I don't think my son loves me as much as he loves Morgan. And to speak how much I, uh, how far I would go for Morgan's character, and my son is in his first play ever tonight. He's playing in the, the Three Lost Sheep and he's playing the bad sheep, grimy. And the only way that it was okay that dad missed the first play he's ever been in, the first public thing really ever, when I told him what I was doing tonight, there was no tear, there was no hesitation. He said, dad, that's what you need to be doing. And that told me everything I needed to know because what was happening in his life was less important than what was happening in the person that he cared about in their life. So that speaks to me about the truth of Morgan's character. And when we, uh, when we looked at this award, when we're looking at what the criteria of this award, award is, I'm really proud of, of how this is a balanced award. And we look at athletic participation, we look at letters. How does someone invest themselves in themselves, their teammates in our school? That means putting yourself out there. That means being willing to participate, even when it's not something that you're completely comfortable with, and giving your best to that. Morgan has done that throughout her high school career. 
She's participated in track. She's participated in soccer. She's participated in basketball. She's participated, I, is that it? What, what's that? Go volleyball, oh, I thought you said golf, volleyball. I didn't know you did golf if you did golf. But she's put herself out there. The next thing we measure is academics. Morgan has over a 4.0 grade point average for her high school career. And that didn't all come easily. When Morgan doesn't get something that she wants, when something that she receives isn't what she wants it to be, she works hard. She wasn't born with a silver spoon and all the ability in the world. She's had to work for it. And not only that, I'm very proud to say, it makes me leap with pride to think that she's going to be representing all of us in our community when she enrolls at Harvard University in the fall of next year. I think that's a pretty amazing accomplishment that we should all be proud of. It shows all of our kids, it shows all of us that with hard work you can accomplish literally anything that you desire in this life. Thirdly, we look at accomplishments. Not only do you try, but do you put everything you have into something and try over and over and over again until you find what it is you need to succeed. So we look at how do we succeed at the highest level? What awards have we won? What state tournaments have we participated in? All of those things. But lastly is the focus of what I want to talk about today. We look at character. And character is a funny thing. What makes Morgan great to me is her great character. And character is hard to measure. Okay? What, makes, what makes her great to me is she never sees the accomplishment of a goal as an ending. And I want to talk back to just for a minute what Coach Mortensen said. I loved it. It spoke right to my heart. He said, never let this be the pinnacle of your accomplishments. Do not let high school be the end and that you're always looking back on it as some lofty thing that you did in the past and forever you're just reaching back to it and trying to recreate that glory. Because it is simply a stepping stone. It is a tool to create character. It's a tool to create goals. But if the achievements in high school, if they become this light that you seek and once you get it, you stop, then you stop growing. And you end up a pretty happy sometimes even desperate individual. I'm going to quote the great John Wooden who said that sports are like a kind of passion and that can be temporary. It can be great but passion can fade and can be temporary. But academics that's like true love and that's enduring. And academics to me don't just mean studying out of a book and making good grades. It means a quest to learn. It means a quest to better oneself, a quest to accomplish goals, but then use the accomplishment of that as motivation to find another and seek further. That's what I believe Morgan has, and I know that she's going to use that throughout her life to live a life of great distinction. <clears throat> so no matter which deserving athletes win here tonight, I know one thing for sure. Morgan's going to be moving forward. And Morgan's not going to be caught up in whether she wins or loses this award because she treats success and failure as an opportunity for growth in the formulation of a new goal. I know that this understanding will lead Morgan to a life of not only distinction but happiness. Happiness in the knowledge that you made every day your masterpiece and that every new tomorrow on the horizon is your new masterpiece in the distance. I can't wait to see the impact that you'll continue to have on the people and environments around you. I know you've shaped my life in profound ways. Coaching you, being around you, being around your wonderful family, seeing how much you dedicate yourself to everything that you do, seeing how you don't limit yourself to just one possibility and that you never accept failure as an option. My life is going to be a little bit less brilliant without you around. And I can't wait to see what you do for other people's lives and the environments that you, that you shape. But I have to tell you, I'm a little bit jealous of them because I won't be able to be as big a part of that as much in the future. I have to tell you that I'm also extremely happy for those people because I know from experience that their lives will be better for knowing you. You bless my life more than words can ever tell. 
I'll remember you for the rest of my life. I'm not going to remember every bucket you scored. I'm not going to remember every award that you won. I'm going to remember the impact that you had on me and my family. I'm going to remember how much you loved my son and how you treated him and you treated me. And I'm going to miss you. Thank you.